Hi, I'm Ted Price, founder and CEO of Insomniac Games, and I'm here to tell you to talk about Fuse with Connected Digital Worlds. In a few weeks, EA will be releasing Fuse, their four-player co-op game written by Insomniac Games. We recently had a chance to sit down with Ted Price to talk about it. Hope you enjoy the interview. I'm Ted Price, founder and CEO of Insomniac Games. So, uh, Ted, what are you here today to talk about? Well, I'm sh we're showing off Fuse today. So we've talked about Fuse in the past, a few months back. Um, so, for those who aren't familiar with Fuse, do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah. Fuse is a brand new four-player cooperative shooter from Insomniac, and it follows the exploits of a team of agents called Overstrike as they're pursuing a volatile alien substance across the globe. And it has a lot of really cool features that no other shooter has. So you, you obviously mentioned the, the groups called Overstrike, that was the original title for the game right. quite a while ago. Uh, what made you change the title? Well, we actually continued to evolve the game through development, and we realized that the game was more about Fuse, this alien substance. And we started realizing that we needed to make Fuse more than just a plot device. Fuse actually does power a lot of the big features in the game, thus it seemed appropriate to actually call the game Fuse. So tell us a little bit about the, the concept of the game. What, uh, there are a number of characters, so do you want to tell us a little bit about those? Well, there are four very unique characters, each of whom backstory is explained in the game. Each of these characters has his or her own arsenal of fuse-powered weapons, and each one has her, his or her own progression tree that you can uh, move through and unlock new abilities for. So it's, it's, uh, there are four, obviously, playable characters. Yes. But you don't have to have four people to play the game, do you? Right. You can play as by yourself, with one friend, with two friends, or even with three friends. And there are always four characters in the game, so if there are not four humans, then we take, make sure that bots take the place and we, of those humans. So you're always playing with four. Importantly, though, we have spent a lot of time on our bot AI. I know there's always a concern when you have bots in a game. Will they steal my kills? Will they actually rescue me when they need to rescue me? And the answer is yes. We been very cognizant of how important it is to make your bots balanced, where they aren't stealing your kills, but they are doing what you expect them to do. And one of my favorite aspects of the bots in, uh, in Fuse is that they will take advantage of what you've unlocked. So if I'm playing Izzy, who is one of the characters in the game, and through the progression system I unlock her healing beacon, and then I leap or jump to a different character, Izzy the bot will use that healing beacon on me at the right time. And this is, it's, it has been something we've spent a lot of time on and we're very happy uh, and excited, happy about how it works and excited to see how players react to it. Certainly that was one of the elements of the game that concerned me when I first heard about the, the full player. Right. Especially because if you, one of the players dies, that's it, everything is game over. Correct. Uh, but having played it today, I'm really impressed in how well it actually worked. Cool. So uh, well done. Thanks. Uh, so there are a couple of different modes you can play in the game, aren't there? Right, There's, we have a story-driven campaign, which can be played with one, two, three, or four players. And we have Echelon, which is our recently revealed competitive mode, which can also be played with one, two, three, or four players. So in both cases, if you're just playing by yourself or with one or two friends, the other position or positions will be taken by bots. So tell us a little bit about uh, Echelon. Echelon is a wave-based multiplayer mode, and it's like the classic game Smash TV, but it's offensive, which means that you are not just defending, you are actually going after various objectives. And I've been using the word competitive to describe it, but that's something that I, I've realized most people don't know, and they usually scratch their heads and say, what are you talking about? Competitive for us is the fact, uh, reflects the fact that you're playing with the team, so you're cooperating to actually accomplish objectives within this mode, but you're also competing for individual rewards that you discover as you are moving through various stages of the Echelon battles. So cooperation plus competition, competitive. So you mentioned uh, rewards. Let's talk about the sort of things you can get. 
Well, in Echelon, you get both XP, which is useful for uh, Echelon and for campaign, since we have a unified progression system, and you get fused credits, these big bags of cash or gold bars or coins that pop out at various times when you accomplish something. And it's usually a race to see who's going to get those coins. You use them for upgrading team perks, which is part of our progression system, and for outfitting your agents with new gear. And there are a number of different maps and objectives within each map. So. Yes, there are six maps, uh, each, of each of which has a different layout, different size. And within our Echelon battles, there are six different mission types. And we randomize them so that no battle is ever the same. Uh, and there are a number of rounds within each battle type? There are 12 rounds in each battle, and I will warn you, it's challenging, as you probably experienced today. Yeah, I've managed to get to level 3, and then I just <laughs> completely get killed. Um, yeah. But it's a really good fun. So Thanks. I think it depends on who you're playing with, um, and I look forward to playing more. Cool. So, so we've obviously we've got four different characters. Each have got their own backstory, as you say. Um, one of the characters is actually um, her father is on the opposite side, right. um, Naya. Right. So, uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, without giving too much away, too much of the story, Naya Devereaux is an, a former assassin. Her father trained her, and at some point in the past, and you, you discover this in the game, they split up. And Luther Devereaux, Naya's father, switched sides and is working for the bad guys. And that's about all I'll say, but their, their relationship is important in the story, and we do revisit it several times to help show how that relationship evolves. And that's similar to other relationships that we describe in the story, in the game. Things that you get to see firsthand. So we look forward to seeing more as it comes out. And when will Fuse be out? Spring 2013. And for which platforms? Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Thank you very much. You got it. Thank <laughs> you.